Hey there, how are you? I hope you are well and washing your hands constantly. Um, we are going to have a run through a song that I've been asked to learn for a private student of mine today. What a friend we have in Jesus. So this is for you, Jennifer. Um, but I'm going to put it up on YouTube and if you're interested, please learn away. We're going to try and do it in four different levels. So from straightforward chords, using a pick, using your fingers, and then doing some little simple embellishments on top using sus4, sus2 chords, that sort of thing. I'll put timestamps in the description below so you can just jump straight ahead into that section. Okay, this is level one. We're just going to do some simple straight ahead strumming. Um, we've got... <clears throat> Let me come in a little bit. We're going to start off with a D flat chord, which is uh, a bar chord at the fourth fret. You can play them like that. You can play like that. Or your little finger. It doesn't really matter. So we've got one, two, and we're going to play a D7. Then a G flat. Then we just played a G flat on the four and we played two, three, and then we're going to go to D with an A flat bass, D flat with an A flat bass, sorry, and then A flat, and then we're going to do a nice intro. Okay, so then we're going to hit the verse. Just a reminder myself, we're doing the level one version here, so we're going to play one, two. Seven. One D flat and three and G flat and one and two and three D flat with an A flat bass A flat D flat three four and then we hit the sort of B section the A flat two three four D D flat seven G flat a flat seven. Just going down, down, down here. One, two, three, four. Just like that. All right. Then we have the final line, the last four bars of the uh, section in D flat major. We're going to have D flat, G flat, D flat with an A flat bass, A flat, and then D flat. And then the modulation chord is an A major. So we're going to change keys and then we're going to play a whole bunch of just open chords. Now, you could play the entire thing with these chords and not modulate if you only wanted to play open stuff. D, A7, sorry, D, the whole bar, 3, A7, sorry. Simon, what you do there? I play D, G, then I played a D, uh, D diminished, which is zero, one, zero, one, then D with an A bass, and A, D. We go that's B section now, A, three, four, D, D seven, G major. D, A7, 2, 3, D, 4 and 1, 2, 3, G, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4, D with an A bass, A7, D. Okay, so that's kind of the level one run through that we're going to do. Now I said we were going to do one with a pick, which we can do now. Uh, we're going to play just one... So we're going to play D flat, it's going to sound weird because we were just in D, but... So you're just going to pick forward in a half bar situation, you're going to pick forward every time. So one, if we have two, I mean a half bar situation, what does that mean? When we have two chords in one bar, so you're going to play one and two and three and four and one. D flat, 
flat seven, G flat. D flat, A flat seven. D, sorry, D flat, G flat, second fret. And make sure you can see both hands there. Hang on, just one second. That's probably better. Uh, we are going G flat. Where was I? I can't remember. Double, then the D flat, A flat, D flat, B section, A flat. Just let everything ring. Okay, and you're just going to continue around the chart like that. You'll see it on the screen. Um, okay, next up, we've got the finger picked version. So let's put the pick down. Thumb, one, two, three. They're gonna sit on the same, uh, same strings, right? So you're basically gonna have this. And then. something like that. So that would be the version with your fingers. Now the in important thing to do is just to make sure that the, you could, what well, you can do, I mean, you know, uh, it's an arrangement of this song. Uh, you can leave your, these three fingers in the same place, right? So when, our, when we're playing the bar chords in the, the D flat section, uh, my first finger is on the D string, my second finger is on the G string, and my third finger is on the second string, B string, and I'm just going to walk up every time. Okay. Now, if I was playing the G flat chord, then I'm going to move down to G flat second fret E shaped bar chord. My fingers, these guys, are going to stay in the same place, but my thumb is going to move. Okay. And then The final thing is that on the recording, and I'm going to put a link to the recording that I learnt this song from, uh, he is detuned to semitone and he's using the, he's using a drop D. You know, so for example, see what I mean? Uh, G. Okay, so what we can do here is um, we can use uh, the version that's uh, sort of on the record is a bit fancier. He, he's playing sort of like... So all I've done there is played different voicings of the same chords. So I started off here with my first finger on five and seven and seven, which is basically a D shape bar, a, a D bar chord, an A shape bar chord, a D. And then he does this No. Sounds a lot like something else. Moon River, maybe? And then the G chord comes. So when you're playing in a drop D, you can play a G like this, which is really nice. So five, five, three, and three. You can even put your in there. And then See how that works? That's a D, that's an A, 
that's a D. Really trying to make as much use of that low D as you can. Or if you just wanted to only play in this open position, it's much easier with the sus stuff. So. See what I mean? So just by using simple uh, variations in the voicings, you get, get a lot, lot more out of the guitar. Now, I know I said it was going to be four levels. I'm actually going to change it up. I love sort of rhythm and blues and soul music, that sort of thing. And you can totally gospelify this sort of situation. So because the chords are straightforward, right? So you uh, can get anything out of these tunes. Anyway, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this kind of elongated arrangement with five different versions of basically the same song. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I always respond to your comments. If you would like to see more of lessons, uh, there's about 400 or so videos in the channel. If you feel like supporting me and getting exclusive content, you can check out my Patreon page. I'll put a link in the description. And that's about it. So please be safe. Please keep washing your hands and stay at home. Simple. Uh, I'll see you guys around. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe and click the button for notifications. Notifications. It's been a long day. Thanks very much. See you next time.